Right, what is going on guys? Frasier or Phase K here and welcome back to a brand new Optical Illusion video. Before I show you all loads of crazy optical illusions and how to trick your eyes into going drunk, there is an even crazier illusion right here on the YouTube page in front of you. Now, it's been there for some time. Lots of you probably don't even know what this crazy optical illusion is. Some people were telling me about it the other week and I couldn't even believe it myself. So apparently, if you leave a like on the video right now, the button goes blue and it helps spread this video around because YouTube is fucking broken. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys some pictures on the internet that I found that are really cool, that will bend your mind and put your mind to the test. And I'm gonna show you guys how to trick your eyes into being drunk. Okay, so I have a few optical illusions lined up for us to look at. These are all still pictures, and these will all mess with your mind quite a bit. They have still messed with my mind. I'm gonna show them to you guys, and it's still gonna get to me as to how weird they really are. So you see on this one, square A and square B, at first, you guys probably looking like, okay, I'm not sure what's different, what am I supposed to be looking at here, right? They are the same color. Did you guess that? They are the same color. If you don't believe me, go into Photoshop, get the paint tool or whatever, check the color. Those two squares are the same color. Square A and square B are the same. Does that even make sense to you? How does that look the same? To me, square B looks so, so, so much lighter than square A. But obviously, that green cylinder with the shade is causing this optical illusion and making us think that A and B are different colours when in reality they are the same colour. I don't know how this works. I know it does work though and I know it is real. They are the same colour. If you don't believe me, just go and do exactly what I said. But let's move on to the next one. The next one is actually really trippy. This is... A star you see that blue star in the middle surrounded by the orange as I said at the start of this these are still pictures look at that star I'm gonna look at it now for about 10 seconds and not talk yeah yeah it, it looks like it's moving does that look like it is moving to you guys that's what I was meant to say but does it look like it's moving it really does it looks like wobbly and wavy and like it is not still pretty much it pretty much doesn't look like it is still but it is Really weird, really, really, really trippy too. I'm going to move on to the next one. All right, this is really strange. This is just like at first glance, you just look and it's just one of those, not like an optical illusion, but just like it's kind of an illusion. Like you're like, whoa, okay. The way that is like lined up and the way it fits in the picture is really, really perfect and it is just working brilliantly. I can't believe how like in line those eyes are with uh, eyebrows and face. Everything, it just looks so real. Next one. Okay, this actually took me up like a good two seconds. Like, at first you look at it, you're like, oh, okay, that's the optical illusion on these pictures. But on this one, I legit, I didn't even see it for like another two seconds. And I looked down and I was like, oh, there's a dog. There was a dog in that carpet. I didn't even know there was a dog in that carpet at first. I had to wait till I saw the nose and the bottom of the paws till I actually realized and then saw the outline. I was like, oh, okay. If I was ever had, or if I ever had that dog, sorry, I would probably have stepped on it countless of times. Yeah, that would be the most painful thing for that dog. I, I, I would like literally, I would get like a spray can and just spray on my dog just so I could see where it was when it laid down on that carpet. This one here did trip me out a bit, okay? You're not going to lie, it tripped me out at first. I was looking at that guy. I was like, oh, nice mustache, dude. You know, I know it's in fashion now. Everyone nowadays really wants these mustaches, these beards. But no, you know, I looked down and saw the ass facing the wrong way and realized it was just a girl he's just like hugging a girl he's got her or his hands sorry in her pockets and it really makes it look like that is her like her head is his beard it is so strange the girl's like shoulders are obviously tucked underneath his so it looks like she's like not even there essentially i don't know if they're even in the same t-shirt really i don't know I don't know what is going on to be honest in that picture, but it's really, really trippy and it took me a good few seconds to look at that and figure out what was going on. This picture really did get to me at first. I was looking at that like, oh, this looks like two guys coming out of a portal, maybe from a game, but no, just turn your head like that. And it's just two guys obviously laying back in a pool with their feet out and they've got their feet at such an angle it literally makes it look like they are sitting on a wall like half out of a portal or like half in some weird wobbly wobbly mirror kind of shit. I don't really know what I was expecting at first but then as soon as I turned my head I realized they're in a pool pretty easy. I just really liked this one. I thought it was cool how it looked like he was picking up the sun with his foot. It's honestly such a sick picture. The sun is so small on the horizon. Fits perfectly onto the shape of his shoe and just makes it look so real. 
This one, okay, this is one of the first ones that I did originally find. I was looking at that like, okay, this guy's got like a Halloween mask on, or he's celebrating Halloween. I don't know, something weird is going on. Because of these illusions, what I tend to do anyway is that I look so much on the really trippy part of the picture that I don't take my eyes and look at the other parts, like the dog's legs sitting on the lap. Like, if I looked at the legs sitting on the lap, I could have told, or I would have told straight away that this was a dog just like barking or yawning in front of his owner's face. But it looks like the owner has a wolf face and he's like screaming, gripping a bottle of water with the hand there, getting ready to like come up and go mental or something. I don't know, but it did look really weird at first. And then you just realize what it actually is, as do the rest of all of these pictures. I still have some optical illusions to show you guys after this one, but this... This is what you have been waiting for. How to trick your eyes at any point you want. So you have a trick to be drunk technically forever. If you wanted to do this forever, you could trick your eyes to be drunk forever. I would not recommend that at all. Really would not recommend that in the slightest, to be honest. But it is possible. You can do it. And without a single drop of alcohol, you can trick your eyes slash mind to be drunk. So first of all, what you're going to need to do is grab something like a tool that you can center around you. And if you guys remember from my dizzy football penalty challenge, you've just got to spin around the object looking down and make yourself dizzy. I would recommend doing that for about, I don't know, 10 to 20 spins. So just get this, get an object, put it on the ground like this, and then just attempt to spin. So just go like that, with your head looking down, and just spin around 10 or 20 times. So then what you're gonna need to do is go to a bed or somewhere where you can lay backwards and do this. Just literally go onto the bed, after you span, lay down, and have your head hanging backwards or your head leaning further back from your body. Get your iPhone, your tablet, whatever you have, get the screen and look at the illusion that I'm about to play after this clip. You've got to be dizzy, looking with your head back and with the illusion ready to play and you have everything you need to feel drunk whenever you want. So I'm gonna play the clip for you guys right now. If you haven't done those steps before, pause the video right here, go do the steps and then play the video. I'm gonna play the Trippy Illusion clip. Just look at the red dot in the center, then afterwards look around and you will feel drunk. I'm gonna play this clip for you and then actually attempt it myself afterwards when you guys have recovered a little bit. Okay, so you guys just need to look straight into the red dot. If you haven't yet, got dizzy, laid back on a bed, looked up at your phone and then played the clip from here. I would do all of this just before playing this clip. I'll play it for you guys now in case you have done it. But yeah, good luck. All right, it's my go, let's do this. Okay, so now that I'm dizzy, I'm gonna lay back on my bed and look at the illusion. Oh my God, this feels so weird already. This feels so strange. What the fuck? Nah. Oh my god, I don't know if it's a mixture of dizziness, I don't know if it is a mixture of dizziness, but I feel like, I don't know, like I've had a few beers, I actually feel like I could have had, <laughs> whoa, I can't speak, yeah, okay, this works, this definitely, yep, this definitely works, I'm actually acting like a retard, and I'm not doing that on purpose, I didn't even fell off my chair then, oh my god, it does actually last for a few minutes as well, apparently this one lasts for longer than like other ones, which is why I'm looking so spaced out right now. I'm going to try and move this stick. Okay, well, I can move a stick. I'm obviously not that drunk, but you do feel definitely something different. Like, something has happened to me, and I can feel it. I'm really sensitive and really prone to when I get dizzy, to feeling really sick and ill. So, getting sick 
I'm getting dizzy. See, look, I can't talk, okay? This is, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding with you guys. The effects have actually started to, like, wear off now, to be honest. But, um, yeah, at first, like, when I got dizzy, when I get dizzy as well, if you guys don't know, I actually am prone, like I was trying to say then, I am prone to feeling really, 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 really sick and really ill. And then looking at a really trippy thing and standing up for me just made me feel absolutely really just disgust. Okay, this guy, as you can see, has his left hand out. And his right hand is just painting. He has a blue paintbrush and he's going to be painting some lines onto his hand. And I want you guys to try and guess before the end what you think it's going to be. Can you guess? I know what it is already. Obviously, I got all this ready. And I found this and I was like, no way. Because when I first looked at it before, I saw how he did it. And yeah, okay, just take into mind why he's looking at his hand from that angle. But like I was saying, before I saw exactly how he did it, I thought it was real, okay? You know those... Okay, I'm going to give you a clue. Depth effect, okay? That's what I'm going to say. When you look at your hand in a certain way, it can sometimes look as if certain things are and aren't there. And this guy does it perfectly in this little video right here, which I just couldn't help but have to show you guys because this whole video is about optical illusions and this last one right here was just mind-blowing for me. I just can't believe... Okay, look what he's doing. Look in the middle, how he's making it darker. Am I giving you a hint? Did depth effect give away a hint? Is the darkness giving away a hint? Does it look like it could be done now, nearly? Because to me, it kind of does. I think he's going to add a few more shades of white and then be done. Look how crazy this is. It already kind of looks like it for me. I, I think you guys might be able to even spot it now. But looking at it from a straight up angle, it doesn't look anything like what it would look like when it goes like that. When your hand is looking at it like that compared to that. Trust me, as soon as he puts his hand flat at 90 degrees again, you guys are going to be like, whoa. Does it look like there's a hole in his hand? Oh my god, there's a hole going into his hand. There is legit a hole in that guy's hand just from painting. Well, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you are happy now that you know how to get drunk wherever, whenever, and forever, however long you want to, to realistically, yeah, leave a like if you're happy about that. If you enjoyed the video or anything else in it, just smash a like. Subscribe if you are new. This has been Fraser or Face K, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, everybody.